Hey, hey guys, it's Josh at A-Spec, Northwest Ohio Home Inspections. I'm up in an attic today, obviously, and I uh, wanted to kind of talk to you about uh, bathroom vents. And you can see in this case, we have the, uh, the bathroom exhaust vent. And you can see my big fat finger. They're uh, venting up into the attic, which isn't right. I mean, this, this house was built uh, in the 70s, which uh, wasn't required to vent them to the outside, but... Um, Obviously, it's a good idea in this case, too. You can kind of see the, uh, got a little bit of, uh, discoloration, probably mold. And that's what happens. You're bringing that shower steam up into the attic here in the, in the wintertime, and the sheathing's cold, and that's what happens. I mean, this this doesn't look too bad or anything, but it's it should be, uh, like I said, going to the outside. Now, as far as fixing it, the, um... The easiest uh, or the best way is to run it out a, uh, a gable end, like down here at the end. And in this case, uh, that should be, I don't know, probably 20, 20 feet. And uh, to use the, the metal piping um, or aluminum piping, I should say. And you could run it under the insulation uh, since we're in a cold climate here in northwest Ohio. And then just go outside the, uh, like I said, outside the gable vent with a uh, regular you know, louver like you would see in a dryer vent or whatever on the outside siding there. Or uh, you can also use the uh, insulated duct like we have here that's used for the uh, whatever the cooling system at this house. Um, just like a four inch, four inch size that's already insulated and then you can just run that outside the, uh, um, right on top of the insulation or whatever. But, um, I guess the, the like I said, that's the best way or the preferred way. You, I mean, you can always vent out the roof as well, but you know, I always say the less holes in the roof, the better. And uh, in that that case would definitely have to be insulated as well. I mean, you should always insulate when you're in a cold climate. And and then the other option, or a lot of times I see even on new builds or whatever, is um, where the uh, bath fans vented to the ventilated soffit, which is just a horrible idea. It's actually uh, makes things worse than this. I mean, albeit this is uh, kind of at the eave area anyway, but when you dump it out at that ventilated soffit, it just, uh, that's, a, that's an intake that gets sucked in and then that shower steam just gets sucked right in and, and then it's localized and you end up getting mold on the, the sheathing and everything else. And it's just, uh, it's just a bad idea. I see it in new construction. Um, it's just, uh, just, um, um, I mean, there, there, I have another video about, uh, a fix for if it's at the ventilated soffits where you can kind of block the ones off that's close by and you should still be okay. But, uh, that's a whole different, um, well, I guess it's just another video or a option if, if yours does discharge out there, but yeah, discharging into the building envelope isn't a good idea. And that's, that's one reason why, I mean, this is a, like I said, this case isn't very, uh, usually I'll see it a lot worse. I'll see some rusted nail heads, you know, like the roofing nail heads coming through or whatever. I mean, it's something that obviously should be taken care of. You don't want to be taking that shower steam and putting it up, you know, in, in within the building envelope into your attic. You want to get it to the outside. And that's just kind of the, the proper way to do it, easiest ways to do it or how, how you can fix it. Um, and I should also mention, uh, you know, half baths. I'm not really too concerned with half baths. It's not about odor or stink. And though sometimes you might want to do that, but it's, it's just not necessary. The whole, the whole idea is the moisture. I mean, you still could be pulling in, you know, warm conditioned air from the inside and putting it up into a cold attic, which you don't want to do, but um, you know, it's not going to be, you're not going to be running it all that long or whatever, but yeah, this is for more for just uh, shower steam, full bathrooms. And, uh, and I should also mention, I guess, while we're doing this too, this house does have two, two bathrooms. Um, and, uh, you know, some people think that you can tie these two together, the bath fan vents, and then take it out one discharge. That's you, you can't do that or you shouldn't do that. It's, uh, it, they, they do make booster fans where you can tie the two together and put it put it out there it's like a i can't remember what it's called a dual purpose vent something like that and they're they're pretty pricey or you just have to run the two separate ducts just like the ways that i uh, just showed you in this video so yeah that's your uh, crash course on bathroom venting and uh, why they shouldn't be vented into an attic 
Um, and this is Josh Frederick with A-Spec Residential Services, Northwest Ohio Home Inspections. Thanks for watching.